Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I stopped by my local L.L. Bean store just to uh, check out what kind of new stuff they have. And I came across these. They're Grabber Outdoors Solid Fuel Tablets. They look a lot like uh, Aspit. Except maybe a little more crystally for some reason. Uh, came in a package of 12, same price. Five ninety five. That was about what I paid for that. I think five ninety nine. Comes in two packets of six, but unfortunately, you got to cut them apart. They're not perforated like the espits are. That you can just break these off and you know use them. But I got a package of it. I thought maybe I'd give it a try, see how they compared. Because espits are a little hard to come by around here for some reason. I did some measurements on it. Size wise, it's just about exactly like the espit. I'll put the measurements down below. Excuse me. <coughs> the one thing, this is a solid cube. On the espits, see if you can see it here in the package. And the S, but it's like divided up into four so you could break it into pieces. But uh, this grabber solid is just one solid cube. As far as weight, I took two random pieces, and this, the grabber, weighed about a gram less than the S bit cube. Okay, let's see. What I'm going to do is do a boil test. On this Espit rig, I had just done this a couple of days ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I have a time, a uh, boiling time with this, so I thought I'd try it with this cube. What I'm going to do now is break here, go get my water ready, show you that the bottom of this pot is clean. I'll get my water ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to use this uh, Espit stainless steel stove and pot stand and try it with one cube. Now the cube weighs a little bit less than the Espit, but the sizes are about the same. Now what I did was I scraped the top, hopefully you can see it there, scraped the top so that there's a pile of crumbs on there. Let me just put it right in the pan. Now the instructions on this, on the box, it says that this contains, excuse me, I'm going to screw this up, but it contains hexamethylenoline tremaine, flammable solid CAS 100-97-0. So I guess that means these are pretty much uh, hexamine tablets, just like, you know, this stuff. I mean, not this, but that's the same stuff, but the s bit and stuff. Okay, let me see if I can light this. Okay, it's lit. Not fully lit here. Let's give it a chance to come to a full flame. It's just the uh, crumbs on the top burning right now. Uh, according to the box, this stuff is smokeless and odorless non-toxic formula, safe for the environment, burns efficiently at high altitudes, it's supposed to reach a heat of 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average burn time for a tablet is supposed to be 12 minutes. Okay, that looks like it's going. Two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. Uh, let's see, what did I, did I say? Average burn time is supposed to be 12 minutes. So what I'll do is see how soon this comes to a boil and then let it burn out and see how much time we have. So that was two cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 and 6 minutes 4 seconds. Pretty much the same time. 
That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in six minutes and four seconds. When I did this same test using ESPIT tubes, two cups of water, 60 degrees, came to a full boil in five minutes and 56 seconds. Eight seconds difference, so in my mind that's about the same. So now what I'll do is just let this go, see how long it'll keep this water boiling before it burns out. Uh, one thing, they say it's smokeless and odorless. I wouldn't exactly call it odorless. It does smell like a hexamine tablet. It's not bad in here, but you really shouldn't do this stuff inside. As far as smokeless, yeah, I guess there's no smoke, but it sure is sitting up the pot. Wow, big time. So let's let this go, see how long it'll burn, and then I'll be back. Okay, we've got just a little bit of a glow in there. Bare flame. I mean, barely a flame. Uh, when I did this on the last test with the ESPIT, it burned for 9 minutes and 34 seconds. We're a little bit past that, but I mean, the flame that's in this is practically useless. It's not going to do anything. Just a little glowing dot in there. But let's say 10 minutes. So that gave it about, what, 30 seconds more than with the ESPIT. Okay, now let me take this off, empty the pot out. Okay, can you see that? can see the pattern of the, uh, let me just move this out of the way so I don't burn myself. You can see the pattern from the pot stand and quite sooty all the way up the sides of the pot. So even though they say it's smokeless, it isn't sootless, but then neither is espit or hexamine. I think it's just the nature of the beast. Hexamine is going to leave stuff on your pot. <clears throat> Just try to pick this up. I don't know, can you see that? There's a chunk of residue left there in the, the little pan. Now this is interesting. I think. This is just, might just be me. Uh, I showed this to you before that on this SBIT stove there's a dent here, a recess, recessed area where you set the tablet and if you watch it the tablet actually melts down and fills this little pocket with burning fluid. So this depression holds that fluid in place. Now, this tablet did come with a, well, came with two different burners. One burner was this one, the standard hexamine burner, and a much smaller one. But the thing that's interesting with this is, this doesn't have the dent. It's just a flat piece of metal with holes in it. So I'm wondering what happens... Maybe it, I was wondering what happens if that stuff melts in this, but then maybe it doesn't melt. Maybe it doesn't get hot enough to melt it. It just burns. That might be interesting to check in about. But like I saw them last time and this time, the hexamine melts and then sets in that depression and burns from there. So it kind of looks like this is probably all the same stuff, just different packaging. Lasted about the same time, boiled about the same time. Now the one th negative thing, kind of negative, it's just nitpicking maybe, is that this comes in a package of six and they're all connected. You have to cut this apart to get individual blocks, whereas on the ESPIT 
it's perforated and you can just, you know, wiggle it and break it apart. That's just, you know, a little thing. But I guess, I don't know, from the results of this, it looks like this and that bit are just about the same thing. So if you find this in your area, like I said, my problem is I can't find Espit around here anymore. My suppliers either went out of business or don't seem to carry Espit because I guess not enough people buy it. But I found this stuff at L.L. Bean. Okay, so that's the <coughs> Grabber Outdoors Solid Fuel Tablets. Now they sell other stuff too, but... Uh, that's their fuel tablets. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Let me know if you've used this stuff. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.